U.S. advised the Ukrainians to send sabotage groups into the Russian rear. U.S. and British officers helped plan the Ukrainian spring-summer campaign and provided all the asked-for vehicles, but Kiev decided to divide its forces into three directions, according to a Washington Post feature published on Monday. Over a dozen Post employees interviewed more than 30 senior officials from Ukraine, the US and the EU, only a handful identified by name. The outlet's conclusion was that a counter-offensive born in optimism has failed to deliver its expected punch, generating friction and second-guessing between Washington and Kiev. A series of eight tabletop war games at the US base in Wiesbaden, Germany reportedly developed a viable detailed campaign plan for the attack. The Pentagon wanted the offensive to start mid-April and focus on cutting the land bridge to Crimea by driving to Melitopol. General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff at the time, advised the Ukrainians to also send sabotage groups into the Russian rear, saying there should be no Russian who goes to sleep without wondering if they're going to get their throats slit in the middle of the night, according to one official. The NATO armed 47th Brigade, so new that 70% of its members had no combat experience, was to lead the way. Washington and Kiev sharply disagreed at times over strategy, tactics and timing, according to the Post. Instead of a focused assault towards Melitopol, the Ukrainian leadership insisted on attacking in the direction of the Berdyansk and Bakhmut as well. The attack, scheduled for mid-April, finally lurched into motion in early June. Ukrainian troops immediately got bogged down in minefields and mauled by Russian artillery. Incinerated Western military hardware, American Bradleys, German Leopard tanks, mine-sweeping vehicles littered the battlefield. The numbers of dead and wounded sapped morale, the Post noted. After just four days, General Valery Zaluzny tossed aside American doctrine and planning, switching to smaller-scale infantry assaults.